Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and I went and spent a point. I forgot to have you guys in for it. So I went to the talents solo. I grabbed this one here where I can see the animal's health bars. I thought that would be kind of neat. And then I, my next point, I'll probably go in guns. Stick of destiny. <laughs> okay. But we'll probably go into guns and then maybe into into uh, arrow damage. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We don't have those points yet. Now, as far as regular talents go, I'm still not sure what I want to put them in. So we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around with that too much right now. I am thinking about weight because it's always good to have a little bit of extra weight. And I'm also thinking about habitation where stone pieces way less in the inventory because those are the most likely the ones that i'm gonna bring with me anywhere i go so there's all of that all right so that's distracting what okay i don't know it'll attack me if it's if it's mean we've got everything we need for solar panels so let's craft that up now i did make a mistake i screwed up and i bought the i bought the fridge solar panels and advanced alteration bench and a water pump, but I don't have the water pipe tool. Yeah, so next level we'll go water wheel and water pump probably. I went and screwed up because I didn't even buy... I got the advanced alterations bench, but I didn't even buy any of these things. Now, I know there's an advanced armor attachment that shows us where world bosses are, and I kind of want to know that information. So that ought to be pretty cool. Now, for this, we are going to build a little solar platform out here. With these because we need to have the solar far enough away bird that it's gonna it's my building isn't gonna get in the way of the sun and it looks like the sun goes it's that thing so it goes up there and around uh, right about there I think so it's that tiny little dot so we put this here but I want to have it mm, I was thinking I want to have it linked to the base, but that's not really going to happen unless I do a ramp. Let me go get a ramp. Let's try that. I think a ramp... And it, oh, you know what? It doesn't even have to be a stone ramp because it's not going to stay there. So we'll just use one of these. That's right. So let's go up. And then we'll go over and let's do a beam i want to make sure this is nice and solid so we're gonna go for a solid four beams and then we will come up here now i don't know if there is a best spot for it yeah that ought to do it now i don't kind of think it needs to be facing i don't know if facing matters so it, it might just be a certain amount of energy no matter what as long as it's in the sun so we're gonna we're gonna kind of go on that assumption and bring let's grab the wire tool and we'll bring power in all right and if you remember the solar power was gonna be for for this and that other thing over there. So if I can, I might just bring its power. What is this? Oh, that's that. that that's going out to that. And then this is going over here to this light. So the light and the refrigerator, once I get that built, and then this thing will be on the generator because that'll be on for whenever I need to use it and then this thing will be on the solar power so let's go bring hmm if we bring in the power from the solar array in through here it'll kind of stay out of the way maybe and then we can always add to this if we decide to put up more than one solar panel so Click. Kind of want it to go like that. And then if we grab this 
And then we can go just like right along here. We bring that off. There we go. We go right about here. And then here. And then we can bring this up. You can't go right to the end. Like, if you try going all the way to the end like that, it doesn't kick on. All right. And then we'll go to the stairs. And then, let's see. Solar is going to be those two devices. So, I don't know. Fuck it. We'll just, we'll just go like this. Oh, bollocks. That isn't going to work, is it? We'll just go across the ground. And then, can I... Can I hook it to one of those? I don't know if I can. Okay, so... Let's kill that connection there we are okay so now if we grab you we bring you to okay so that's still running okay so I, I was able to do that perfect okay so let's see what this says now whoa come on glitchiness um Okay, providing 5,000 power. Perfect. So that thing's doing 2,000. And then the thing inside will do a little bit more. And since we've already run the power all the way out here, let's unhook. Let's see. We got to unhook here. And here. Actually, we got to unhook all of this. Well, maybe not that one. Well, oh, you know what? The generator... I'm going to need it to hook to this one. Okay, so we're need, going to need to unhook... This one? Where is it? Where's the connect... Oh, no, the connector's inside the building. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so... If I hook... Oh, you know what? That line? We'll just unhook this one. And then that will do a new one to the generator. But this line should be able to go here and power it. No? That doesn't work? Something... Okay, so that means something over here got unpowered. So where is it not connected? Oh, right here. Uh, not exactly connecting into that, am I? Yeah, that's not exactly... It doesn't look like a termination point. In fact, I don't see any terminators in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Is that even hook into that? There we go. Maybe that was the problem. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Oh, shoot. Um. Oh, see how it doesn't want to go in there. Okay. All right, let's bring it back then. I should have made sure I had all of my termination points um, above the ground. Like that. that. That was... Okay, so that was my mistake. Yeah, and I can't... I can't get into any of these. So if I... Can I... Yeah, you can't... I can't get rid of these wires because I can't see the term... Whoops, the termination point. That's too bad. Okay. So give me that. And we want to hook you to...
I can't even, can I? Uh uh. Oh, that's so. That's bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got that. And then I'll go up to here. No? We go here? Wait. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, look, there's that. Can I. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So it's it's lighting these up. Oh, nice. So I can get rid of these now. Oh, beautiful. But I don't think that was the one I wanted to get rid of. Yeah, it was. Now, can I get these? Oh, sweet. Okay, so we can get rid of this extra. Because we don't need all that extra crap. Okay, so we got wiring here. Now, we're going to go... From you, can I go straight to this generator? No, there's something stopping it. Right there and then that all right so now we should be able damn it what's the problem here ah uh. nope all right something's haywire something's no bueno that doesn't look connected to anything all right well i got it wired up i ended up not using this line i'm not sure well the line out back I took that down. I'm not sure what was going on, but I ended up wiring it and going around inside. You know, kind of doing it like that. I thought about going up the stairs, and I probably should have, because at some point I'm probably going to want to go up there. But, so it looks like about 7.20 is when the sun comes up, and sure enough, like right at 6 o'clock, the sun goes down. So you've got about 11 hours where you're not going to have any, any power. Or about an hour after you wake up, or half an hour after you wake up going to sleep you're not gonna have power but that's all right so this is running for free now i can i mean i can essentially just shut the generator off until i get which i think i'm going to because until i get the refrigerator built there's not any point in having that thing so you're making what are you making okay so you're making iron now oh oh please if okay so that'll be a thing if i have to turn this on every time the sun goes down and that's gonna have to stay on the generator. That that won't work. If this has to get activated every time, it'll have to stay on the regular generator. The drill didn't have to stay on the regular generator. It was fine. And that that would be a that'd be a pretty big drag if that was the case. But you know, it's it's got an activate button, so there's a pretty good chance we're gonna have to activate it like that. Okay, so let's drop these back in. Okay, so the desert. Uh, we want to go to the desert before too long and kind of go exploring up here. But there's one thing I want to get before I go to the desert. I want to get some poison, anti-poison pills. So let's head into the kitchen. Here, let's do this. The storm's kind of a drag. All right, so anti-poison. We need anti... Whoa, no, I bought the parasitic. Damn it. I bought the poison pills. Didn't I? I bought the anti-parasitic pill. Okay, well, no anti-poison for me. So the next couple of levels, I want to get anti-poison and I want to get um, water wheel and a water piping tool. And then we'll make a water pump, which will be pretty easy. It's only four electrical components. The water wheel is ten. I'm thinking the water wheel is a good one to hook to the solar array. I mean, right now we can't, but I'm, I'll, I think, I think we're going to end up needing to put that back on the generator. In which case we'll put, let's see, that's 2,500. We'll put that on the generator and we'll put the, oh no, the water wheel generates power. How much power does the water wheel generate? Hold on. We'll just hook the water pump up to the water wheel. 2,000. 1,000. So we'll hook the water wheel up down at the river with the water pump. Have it power the water pump, and then that'll push up to the... Um, what's it called? 
the plants. I think that that'll work. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll work pretty good. So that that'll be the plan for the future for that. So next two points, boom, boom, and then poison pill, because then we'll need to come over here to tier two. We'll need to get poison paste, and then we'll need to get poison pills from here somewhere. Here it is, anti poison pill. And then, so that's that's what four points I want to spend. So that's level forty four. But we don't need to wait to do that to go to the desert. I guess we could we could still head up there even without having the poison stuff. But I do need to figure out. I don't want this to stop. That would be holy crap. That smelted those kind of quick. I don't remember those. Like, that was really fast. That was weird. Alright. Looks like our storm is dying down. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's go up. For now, we'll just leave it. And we'll see if it shuts off tomorrow morning. If, it, if, if this thing is off tomorrow morning, then we will... Because this titanium, is this stuff here, is going to take a while to smelt. So it should be the full day. So if that stuff is that way, then we will go and... Um, rewire. We'll end up putting the generator back on that other thing. Which, it, which would be too bad. Alright, so if we're going to go to the desert, there's a few things we're going to need. First, we're going to need our desert clothes. But we're also going to need a house to travel in. So we're going to need... Um, we're going to need the bed. The fire. We're going to need... Let's take three. That way we've got one extra. We're going to need these. And we're going to need four of these. And we'll take one extra for shenanigans sake. Now, the other thing that we need is... Well, we've got we've got this. We can keep the regular ramps. We've, we'll, we'll take that with us. Um, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room, does it? So what's the purpose of us going to the desert? We're going to go to the desert pretty much to explore. I'm not going up there really to mine anything. I just want to explore, shoot some critters, see if we can find anything interesting up here. If you guys know of anything interesting up here, let me know. Because I would be really interested to know if there's something really cool up there. Now, we've got, in our inventory, we've got, a, we've got some mods on here that we need to shift over. So I'm going to shift the mods over to the other one and then we'll head out okay ladies and gentlemen i think we've got everything that we need we've got oxygen we've got water we've got food do i need to yeah let's eat one of those Boink. and we've got solar powers up it ha a nighttime hasn't happened yet but it'll be fine i've got a bed i've got a sleeping area oh i don't have a door I realized I don't have a door. Oh, uh, how do you... You don't need a fancy door. Just give me some fiber and a little bit more wood. I got a little bit of fiber just so I can make a fire. Here we are. I always forget the door. That's just a thing about me. I'm not sure what I'm going for for this this little adventure, but we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the desert. We're gonna see what's out there. You know what? One thing we might do is take note of any um I think it was right here. Take note of any uh, mining deposits. Deep mining deposits. Holy cow! Where did my brain just go? Because in deep mining deposit, if I find like an aluminum or what don't we have yet? We have access to an iron. We don't have access to a silicon deep mining deposit, but do we need a silicon deep mining deposit? I don't think we need one, like, at the moment. It's, it isn't something that I've noticed we need a lot. Maybe if we want to start building in cement. But then we're going to need an atrocious amount of um, coal, iron, silica, and stone. But if we found a silica deposit, that would mean the only thing we actually have to mine is the stone. Because we could put up more deep deep mining drill thingies on... Wait, there's an iron one not too far away. And there's a... where We've got a coal, so that would be taken care of for the steel. And then we would have... 
What else? Yeah, I think that'd be it. If we found a silica one. The al alternatively... That's definitely not the right way to go. Alternatively, if we found aluminum, we might be able to build something out of aluminum. I don't... I don't know if that holds up against the weather or not. I've never built with aluminum. All I've ever done is... Is, is, is make, you know, things with it like we have already. Actually, if we find an aluminum deep mining deposit, might spec into aluminum arrows. Because they're going to do a lot more damage than these bone ones. And, uh... If we've got, like, essentially free aluminum that we don't... We only have to pay biofuel for like that would be pretty badass that would be pretty good you know what i didn't bring anything to cool me off other than my water but it should be fine we're not going if we were going into the snow biome we would bring two fire pits because there is one of the there is a snowstorm that happens that will freeze you out although maybe if i made fur armor i wouldn't have to worry about it i still have to spec into fur armor though I've got my regular cured leather will keep us fairly warm, but it won't keep us warm if we're trapped out in the snow, a snowstorm. See, look at this crazy lighting effect. I went into this cave. This is one of the caves I went through and mined. There's no snakes in here, so you just kind of run. It's, it's ridiculous. Look at that lighting. Like, what is wrong with this game? And I think we go up here. You always lose a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can see my heat going up. See that on the bottom left? We've re we've jumped into this the uh, desert biome. Now, with my cured leather, this cave, I didn't get too hot. I was fine. I was perfectly fine. And then you, we can turn here, and there's a whole other section to the cave over there. But it's just regular cave stuff. All right. And okay, so the desert. The desert's got antelope. How, oh, how many arrows did I bring? 60 arrows, 124 sh rounds with the rifle. And that's that's more than the rifle without being repaired. That's more than the rifle can deal with. Holy crap! Seriously? The sandworm is right here? We're going to kill a sandworm today. Oh, I wish I had... Anti-poison. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. It didn't hit me. That is not the right attack. Come on. That, that. Yeah. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's his triple attack. He's got one more. No? Oh, I thought... Okay. Come on, baby. I haven't fought this guy in a little while. That's the big attack. He's gonna do that, and then we're gonna run over here. Oh, what? It only let me hit him once? Look at all these antelope. Holy crap, I did not expect a sandworm to pop up right here. Oh, Jesus. Now, you don't want to get too close to this guy. Otherwise, he'll do this crazy attack on you. Not that one. He does this crazy spinning attack on you. Got him. 660, baby. It's not maximum damage, but it's some. There we go. There's a thousand. Oh, yeah. Come on, you little bastard. Holy crap! Oh, I've got that helmet that's protecting me from poison, I think. I think that's what's keeping me a little safer. Damn it. Oh, no, I did get him. Oh, I've got armor piercing on this thing. That's right. Come on, run, stupid. Okay, so you only get about a thousand hit points. Cause if you if he does that and you use the knife, you get a uh, several hits on him. Oh shit. That was quick. 
missed him. You know, I was just looking on the internet for where the sand, the sand, oh Jesus. Did that work? That didn't work. I need you to attack so I can use my potion. No, not that. There we are, okay. I've never used one of those before. Okay, and it's got I've got some good health regen going on. Man, I'm glad I brought those health potions. Yeah, baby. Sandworm. Man, this thing's got some HP, man. Yeah! Yes, baby! Kill the sandburn. Oh, kill the sandworm boss once? Wait, I thought I got... Oh, you don't get the recipe from killing him. All you get is all the stuff. That's right. To get the recipe for the sandworm stuff, you have to actually do the mission on the regular game. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I wonder how much experience we got for that. We didn't level up. Well, we killed a sandworm, ladies and gentlemen. That was a little more excitement than I thought we were going to have. Ha! <laughs> All right. Let's, uh... Oh, I should have brought my, my detector. Let's go over here. Wow. Fought the sandworm, boss. I'll keep... I'll keep his bits, I think. The sandworm scales. And maybe we'll blast off at some point and go do that quest. I don't know if I can with this character. I might have to, like, do all of the build-up quests, which would kind of suck. I'd like to have some... Uh, huh. I'd like to have some anti-poison. Or some poison arrows, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Now, if I was playing my other character, I would, because I've played quite a bit on him, but... Ooh, I found a node. What is it? Oh, oh! Another copper. Okay, so right here... Oh, right here is a copper node. We'll just snap a picture of that. That's good to know. I guess we could go up there. We could just... We can go this way. That's just... Looks like open sand. A lot of horses. A lot of horses, a lot of antelope. Man, killed the sandworm. Yeah, <laughs> there is nothing out here. I just went went to this corner. <laughs> it is just a big, empty desert. Now, fill me in, guys. Like, does the sandworm roam the desert? You know. It, it does it always appear there like every time I come in here am I gonna run into a friggin sandworm or is it something that's gonna pop up only every once in a while or is it something that I have to just constantly wander the desert to find you know like if I want to fight it again which I don't know why I would since I just fought it once but w you know where would I where would I go would it could it be out here is it just any open sand dooney area I know in the regular game you do a mission and the mission kind of tells you where to go, but that's uh, that's not what we're doing here. Oh, what's looks like there might be something over here. No. Nope. This is just some some blue rock, some yellow rock. Go for a nice little swim. What goes on in here? We got a nice little uh. Oh, we got fish. Got piranha. Okay. Good nice little pond. Got some palm trees. Not a lot of trees, not a lot of wood. You'd have to bring your base with you. You know, but the wood, it you know, you got a little bit of wood for doing wood things. We got some fibers in those little bushes there. Not a, not I don't see any rock. I mean you wouldn't be using this area to as your primary building area. Because you would just run out of supplies too fast, but we got another one over there. Another hey, what's up, antelope? 
You're lucky I don't need you. I don't need your meat. Because I brought healing potions. I'm not, I'm not healing with food. Uh-oh. Come on, game. Render everything in. Oh, a hyena. There's also a, a deposit right there. What does that look like? A gold deposit. Okay. So copper and gold. That is good to know. Oh, yeah. So if those other copper and gold ever run out, I can just put... I can just come up here. Put up a little base. Get a couple of electrics on there. Is that a scorpion? Cool. I wasn't... Oh, he's coming. Holy crap. They didn't used to be that fast. All right, that's some scorpion action. Now, you can skin those and get scorpion tails and stuff. If you had, I forget what it was, the, uh, oh yeah, they got the soft meat. If you had the, the things, you could get a cougar. Two cougars. Holy crap. Anyway... <laughs> Oh, what am I not... I need some bacon. Anyway, if you had... Uh, what do you call it? I think it's a... It's a hedgehog and... It's a hedgehog. What is the other thing that the scorpion gives you with the other piece of it? I forget. It might be a bow or something. Oh, I'm bleeding. It might be a bow or something. Drop this fur. I don't need that. I'll probably end up dropping most of this other stuff, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Well, that was cool. Oh, there's another scorpion over there. You know, I wondered if scorpions would be in this one. Man, this place is a little busy. Actually, we're no point using the bow here. Or the, the gun. I don't know if I can one-shot the scorpion. I can't, didn't even hit the scorpion. Can we one shot the scorpion? We're gonna oh we're gonna need to put a, a house down. That would be a no, though. Whoops. So three shots on the scorpion. Three shots on the scorpion, ladies and gentlemen. That's all it took. Level 48. I like it. So we'll take that stuff. Where was that cougar? Here we go. Where's a good spot to put a base up that I'm not going to be accosted? So the the desert is quite dangerous. Like you don't want to mess around when you're when you're uh, putting a little base up in the desert because it's going to be real easy. Hey elephant, it's going to be real easy for critters to get you and sneak up on you. They do. They love to sneak up on you. Here we go. We'll put it right here. What is my dog freaking out about? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's dogs barking outside. She's protective. What can I say? Little border collie thing. See, my dog's not just one kind of dog. It is several kinds of dog, all rolled into one. Let's just put up a little... A little something, something. A little something, something. Get rid of that. Pull that out. We don't even need a door. We'll just... Oh, and a little trick. You don't want to light yourself on fire. Let's put the fire outside. Drop your wood in it. Oops. Turn it on. Put your last wall up. Put that up. Grab your bed. Put your bed down. And you sleep. There you go. And the, uh... The fire being outside is absolutely no problem. Come on. Just remember to pull your house down in the right order. Roof, then the walls, then the floor, then grab your fire. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter when you grab your fire, but you, the big point is you don't want to grab walls before your roof. And you don't want to actually grab the floor first. Because we'd all laugh at you, and you would have to run back to your base because you didn't have anything. Okay, um... 
You know, I kind of learned my lesson. This needs to stay out. And we need to eat that. Let's put that there. And then we'll put this here. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a pretty good one. Uh, we're going to hang out in the desert for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to just wander. Now, nah, I'll wait for you guys to wander around some more for the second half of the desert excursion since we're already here. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode and a little bit of excitement about midway through. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content. Uh, leave a comment in the comments section and uh, share with your buddies because YouTube says sharing is caring. And uh, by all means, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Shut up and sit down.